Uh, no real surprises. I think the key takeaway is that we are all still fighting the same fight and the panelists and all of us alike, you know, we're still talking about the same thing uh, from, I would say, still 10, 15 years ago, the issues with, you know, lack of time, resource and money in supporting the cybersecurity for many of the organizations. I think the COVID-19 for organization, I think there's a assumption that we think that because there is no nobody watching the uh, house, that all these criminal activities happening more rampantly. It's actually, that's really not the case. Uh, we've always had ways in order to, for all of us to stay connected, uh, regardless where you're at work or not. So I don't think that's been impacted. But the, because of the online presence being so prevalent now, um, it just creates a more digital trove of uh, potential digital assets of individual uh, that's, that becomes more available. And the reliance on technology and the mobile media uh, has be increased significantly, which means more data into the cloud and everywhere else where people can steal your data. Um, I think the, oh, this is a tough one. Um, because, because of our, our the creation of our digital identities and the social media, the ability for foreign interference and, the, and really the, a lot of the nation state actors are no longer needing to be physically present or the traditional medium in which we used to do it, which is through meetings, conferences, all because those are kind of, you know, old, antiquated and more people, especially the young uh, generation Z's, they're so reliant on technology. One click of sentiment from, let's say, a Twitter or Instagram hearts uh, is creating that control atmosphere, which makes it easy to manipulate for someone who is, let's say, less inclined uh, or, you know, I think the the biggest one was during the Olympics when you hear about how people are able to sway in the whole uh, the social uh, impacts that was happening here in America. Um, just the way that social media could be leveraged to kind of move your sentiments or ideology has increased, which just made it more efficient. I think this is the key word. You know, there's been a lot of talks about, you know, the criminality aspect, you know, the criminologists, I think, try to replicate what you learn about the behaviors, uh, especially in, I think, from the people that are trying to attack you and trying to put labels on it. And of course, you know, trying to use behavioral science and people to say, well, thou shall not do this. I think it's very draconian per se, um, but I do believe that it's a really an educational moment, but to kind of label it. Well, I think I know why they labeled it. Come to think of it, because technology is using in a way that it's actually creating uh, people's behavior. But I think, you know, that's that's been used so much on the sales side of things. Like if you look at the social media giants, um, but I think it's going to be very tough because we're so tied to the uh, digital world. Um, I don't see how it's going to really improve <laughs> security per se. I think, in fact, it's going to be used more to uh, gain um, people's understanding and behavior to sell more. I think it's the adverse effect, not the security side. I think, generally speaking, for industry, Stop using your corporate email address for non-business shoes. Um, that's the single most thing that really pops into my head because we've seen people using their business account for god awful reason for whatever reason to all these sites and they use the same password. And believe it or not, um, that is the single most important techniques a lot of the criminals use. And I think for governments, 
you know, it's you can't buy those four hundred dollar toilets, you know, or toilet paper. You gotta spend the money correctly to the people, the resources, uh, and actually, you know, support it, not make it into a political thing, but actually, you know, bring the right people and talent without a political agenda to do something right. Um, for individuals, very simple, two-factor authentication where you can. It's very simple thing. You know, I never thought I'd be saying this, you know, 20 years ago, we were still doing a lot of dial-ups and, you know, here we are, we're talking about having step-up authentication. But yeah, I think for many of the individuals, I think that's the key. And of course, I think for everybody, uh, when you're in social media, it's not a place where you share information.